Here we have a package that arrived today. As you can see, this particular solar panel has arrived in its own individual shipping box to ensure that the solar panel arrives to your home or business in safe and usable condition. I'm going to open this up now and see exactly what it is that we received today. Solar panel arrives in a bubble pack, safe and sound in one piece. And we just simply take it out of the bubble pack. And there you can see part of the solar panel. This is a photovoltaic solar panel made up of individual solar cells. Each one of these is a solar cell. Uh, there are four, four rows and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine by four so that's 36. You can see that they're all soldered together by these two uh, wires here and it goes all the way through. It connects on the end by a master wire which brings everything together at this point and then I'm going to flip this over as you can see on this side this is the junction box the wires that you saw from, from the other side they, uh, they connect to this on this side is positive and this side is negative and as you can see positive is blue and the negative wire is brown. Now here we have the company label. The company is uh, Sina Sola Solar Panel. It's uh, made in China. This particular model puts out uh, 100 watts. The model number is SA100. Maximum power voltage is 19. Maximum power current is 5.26 amps. Open circuit voltage is 22.8 uh, volts and short circuit current is 5.68 amps. It says it weighs 8 kilograms, which is about 16 or 17 pounds, made in China. CE is a, uh, a, a rating from China showing that this was inspected. Here you can see it has a, uh, an aluminum frame, goes all the way around. There's various holes in it in different places that you can use to uh, clamp down the uh, solar panel to whatever it is you want to affix it to. Either bolt it down, clamp it down, whatever. Here's the junction box that I told you about earlier. From this wire, uh, once it's unraveled, this should be about ten, 9 or 10 feet long. From this wire, you would wire it directly to either a, an inverter or in this case what we're going to show you today is a charge controller. A charge controller uh, regulates the amount of voltage and amps going to the battery. As you can see here maximum volt 19 and open circuit volt 22.8. This voltage is too high for a regular car battery or a boat battery to use when the battery voltage is above 15 volts the acid inside the battery will start to boil and evaporate and also uh, beyond that it's rough on the life of the battery so it's necessary to use a charge controller when using a solar panel for your batteries it'll make your batteries last longer it'll charge better and it's just safer all the way around. So don't let anyone tell you that you can charge a battery directly from a solar panel. Although you can, it'll ruin the life of your battery. Might even start a fire. After the solar panel has arrived and taking it out of the box and examining its condition from the shipper, it all looks like it's in good shape 
and uh, ready to be used. I just opened it up a couple minutes ago and now I'm outside with it just to test its, its uh, output straight out of the box. I have a voltmeter here that measures DC voltage and again on the back of this you'll see the, uh, the blue and the brown wire that we talked about earlier. The blue comes over to the positive side so that'll be on the red wire and the black or the, the brown wire coming from the solar panel is from the negative side. Okay, even facing away from the sun, I don't know if you can see that, but it's putting out 17.6 volts facing away from the sun. Now watch this. Here it's somewhat facing to the sun. You got 19.2 volts. And now facing the sun, it's up to 19.9 volts. 19.9394 it fluctuates a little bit up and down. That's what the solar panel puts out straight out of the box, 19.9 approximately volts. Again, to charge a car battery or a battery from your boat or RV, whatever, it needs to be closer to 12 volts. And usually a maximum of about 14 and a half volts. And, and uh, the ideal charging is usually between 13 volts and 14 and a half volts. So this, the output of this solar panel needs to be taken down to a usable level so that it's safe for the batteries. Here again we're at 19.7 volts. What we're going to do next is hook up the charge controller to these to the wire.